Besides survival, a large part of Wild West Dynasty is to build your own houses, farms and cities. We'll explain how building works so you can quickly and efficiently build your own settlements. Welcome to Buildner TV Gaming. I am Daniel and in order to start building properly, you need a wooden hammer. First, you have to craft and equip it. With the hammer in your hand, you can open the building menu with B and click through the different building options. However, you can't build all of them immediately. There are buildings that have certain requirements which we will explain in this video. Or you simply haven't learned how to build them yet. What you can directly build for example is a well. To do this, you select it from the building menu and place a blueprint. With it, you determine the place where the well should stand. Again, with the help of the hammer, you can then add the necessary materials to the construction plan until the well is finished and then you have already built something. Building a residential house is a bit more complicated. Unlike the other buildings, you can't directly place a complete building plan here. First, you have to build a foundation with the hammer. You do this as before. Select the floor from the building menu, place the building plan in the desired location and then add the materials. In order to turn this unfinished construction into a house, you have to use the hammer again and determine the wall segments. This way, you choose where exactly windows, doors or simple walls should go. When you have selected all the wall segments, the game adds a framework for the roof on top. Now you have to use the hammer to install the necessary materials on the individual parts until everything is completed. Then your house is finished, at least from the outside. From the inside it is still empty. If you now open the construction menu inside, you will see the selection for furniture. There are no more construction plans here. You must already have the furniture in your inventory to be able to place it. You must have crafted or bought the furniture beforehand. Then you can freely design your houses with it. The production buildings in Wild West Dynasty can only be placed in certain locations. When you find such a resources area, you will receive a message and the location will be marked on the map. These are the places where you can place the corresponding production buildings. A small exception is the barn. You can't build it just like that. The barn, on the other hand, allows you to create fields around it. For fields, you take a hoe in your hand, choose the size from the building menu and then place the fields. It is also best to build a well directly to get water for your fields. This way you can start farming there. To be able to build the city buildings, you have to establish your own settlement. You start a settlement by building a main warehouse. This always forms the core of a city and also provides storage space. Around it, you can build city buildings, for example a blacksmith. With this, you can produce tools. Some of the buildings can only be used when you bring settlers into your city to work there. If you build houses in the settlement or at the production buildings, you can get residents for them at settler camps. You can then assign the residents to the buildings, such as the blacksmith, via the management menu and they will work for you. The workers collect resources for you, process them or manage stores. This way you fill your settlements and profit from them. With this you already know all the basics you need to start building. Whether you build individual houses, large farms or full cities is entirely up to you. If you want to know more about Wild West Dynasty, you can also find a settler's guide to the Wild West on the game's Steam page. With it, you get the Wild West Compendium, the Wild West Architect and the Wild West Cookbook with info, help, 
tips and tricks about building, cooking, buying and crafting in Wild West Dynasty. If you liked the video, we appreciate a like, a subscription and a comment from you. Until next time.